Hello there, and welcome back, my friends, to Vanilla Hoi Four, in which we're playing as Turkey with Ismit Inonu, or however you pronounce it. But last time, we joined the Allies, which some of you were happy with, and some of you, might not so much. But the UK has decided to accept our request to join the Allies. Henceforth, we shall stand or fall together. We shall set our differences aside for now, which we are now doing control the skies. Even though, really, at this point, we should be continuing going down here. We'll do the Petra Proposal. British Dockyards in Turkey. We'll see what happens. I don't think we really want to go to war yet. Just because with no manpower, I mean, yeah, we could help out the Greeks. But that's a lot of access to deal with. So we'll see what happens. You know, we could go to war with Vichy France, but I don't know. So I recommended that I've been industrializing actually pretty darn well. We've been doing pretty well for ourselves. I think we'll probably continue doing whatever we can to industrialize. Ooh, military factory would not be bad. That's okay. This one's not bad. For 200 days, you get a total of... 10! 10 military factories. God dang, that's worth it. That takes so long to get to, so we'll see what happens eventually. We could get some more chromium stuff. Someone says I should not acquiesce, but initiate counter fundamentalist operations. I mean, I guess technically we could, but... We'll continue counter fundamentalist operations for now, just because we can. I think it's just best to wait and watch the world continue to burn for now. We still need more time to build ourselves up. We already have 83 factories, which is pretty darn good, I'd say. So, let's wait. Because we have, we can go to war whenever we want. And that's no problem with me. we got construction for it. We can produce things a little bit faster. We could grab some excavation some more, which actually would probably be a good idea. But, ship-wise, we got some of these guys. I would like to get some cruiser hulls. How many ship dockers do we have? Ooh, that's not enough. That's really not enough, so let's go with more extraction for now, because we could always use more steel, right? But eventually, once we get one, two, maybe three, maybe once one of these are done, we'll probably throw in some dockyards. I know, guys, you want me to join the war, but uh, it's just not worth it yet for us. It's not worth it. Why would I want them to come into our lands just yet? I mean, yeah, we could kill off a lot of Germans, but at the same time, we have to have the Germans kill off the Soviets. This way, we can eventually, hopefully, reform the Tarani Empire, or Tarani's ambition, in which we can eventually, well... Core of the Finnish territory, or at least get claims on Finnish territory. Kind of crazy. Very, very crazy, actually. But that's okay with me. We're currently, no manpower. We're not mobilizing. We've got almost 18 million population. That's not bad. That's not too bad, actually. We're currently, get 1.54 political power a day. Not too bad either. And Japan is going to war in the Philippines, which is going to drive the United States to join the Allies if they're not in already, which I don't think they are. So, I recommended, recommended as I, I think I might have said, get maxed out field hospitals because we're going to need them. There we go. Germany breaks the Malta Ribbon Drop Pact. That is good. That is very, very good. Which I will pull the Allies into the war against these guys. And Japan is just fighting against us. Well, they weren't already. I am kind of surprised that they weren't. That's okay. Actually, Japan goes to war and takes out China. They take all of China, put it under one central administration. Then the U.S. comes in and smashes Japan. Can we take all this territory? That'd be kind of cool if we could. Oh, let them struggle. I want them to struggle, 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 struggle as much as possible right now. And we have formed the agency. I asked you guys yesterday what our agency name should be, and this is it. This is actually the historical name, uh, which you guys recommended that we should probably use, so... Cool. Now, I'm not going to do anything else here for now, just because we need these civilian factories as much as possible. Let's go ahead and build up two more dockyards here, because I would like us to get at least five for this. And maybe start making some more of a cruiser hull. Even... I'll, I'll even take, like... Just, oh, God. Not that destroyer. I mean, destroyers are okay, but... Oh, my goodness. That destroyer is not good at all. I just, I hate having only three research slots. It's so not bueno. But we do get more research speed, which is, you know, ideal. 27 days. God dang, that is good. Woo. Nice. Of course, uh, let's see. Every day we are getting more naval XP because we are doing exercises. And we are getting some more of this army XP, which is very nice. Very, very nice. I do need a razor conscription, but we have to be at war for that. Hmm. We don't have claims on this at all. God, 70 day focuses. I mean, that was another comment from yesterday. Do uh, One of the comments from the last video was, yeah, 70 day focuses suck, which is pretty much every single time we do this. But also, someone recommends that I make Turkey look like a TNO Turkey, so like eat up more of Georgia and Armenia. So, we'll see. We'll get there when we can. We're playing the long game. Hopefully, I will go to war with the Axis if the Germans are doing too well. If the Soviets are doing too well, I will open up the front against the Turks. Or the Soviets, I mean, here. Because we already are the Turks, so. Let's see. Socialism. We could do that. We could get more stability. 
Ooh, I don't mind doing this. Yeah, let's at least do one. We could do public recognition. More the political power. We could get more manpower from those guys, but mm, I don't mind getting more stability. Let's grab this one then. And I might just do not reformism, nationalism. Nationalism is not bad to do. Populism gives you just a tiny bit more, tiny tiny bit more population. I like free trade because it gives us plus 15% to construction speed, even though it is hurting our steel, but we can always extract a little bit more steel, and we always can trade a little bit more. I love that bonus. In the meantime, you know what? I'm going to go with populism. It's only 50 political power. We get a little bit, tiny bit more manpower every single week, which is okay. Obviously, it's not great. Ooh, there goes excavation. Nice. Nice. We could grab that. It is 41, 42, 40, 40. Oh, yeah. Get more soft attack immediately. Grab one of you guys. Ooh, a smoocher, Samur. Oh, look at this. Kazakh, Turkish, and Soviet. Ruzi? I've got to go with Ruzi. He's got all that stuff, man. I, actually, record all this stuff. So we could have used that to push down some rebels, but we've already recorded all. So that's good. Land auction coming along. Naval stuff. I really want to work on naval stuff, but we don't have the means to. It's 41, like I constantly say, to remind myself where we're at. Cap. I'm gonna go with even more extraction. I want even more steel. More, 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 more. We gotta be greedy with it. We got enough guns. Artillery-wise, though, we could probably improve that a little bit more. Currently, our divisions are looking like what? This is our infantry. Not bad, actually. We could use some more support equipment, though. That's probably the most important thing that we need right now, so we can throw on some field hospitals. Okay, that's gonna be incredibly important. Now, Germany is pushing into the Soviet Union kind of okay-like. Yes, guys, I know you want us to go to war, but we're not gonna do that. Join this, guys. Thank goodness that is done. We do peace in the world. We will need to get get this before we go to war with the Soviets. Actually, we can end up killing the, the Axis first. And then divide the lands between the Allies and the common term. And then have the Allies help us kill off the Soviets. So, expand our Navy. I've got to get that extra research slot first. So, expand our Navy. We fight alongside some of the most preeminent global naval powers. And we have much to learn from them. By the end of the war, our Navy shall be lauded amongst the great Amongst the greats, which would be good. Light cruiser, heavy cruiser, naval doctrine. Uh, the light cruiser is much more important than a heavy doc heavy cruiser. So, well, just give me more of that manpower every week if we can, please, 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 please. Actually, I don't think we can send volunteers. Mm, it's not bad. A million, nice. Oh, this is a German Soviet Allied war, huh? And then they have not lost that much. But then again, the Germans have been fighting the Allies as well. They've actually lost more to the Soviets than the Soviets have lost to the Germans, which doesn't sound very historical, but that's okay. They are pushing, so... But that means they got more resistance to deal with. Excuse me. Oh, look at that. Norway's coming back. Oh my goodness, the supply is bad, so bad up here. Holy cow. And the Germans are... Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Because later on... Partnership with... Pact with Bulgaria, which they probably won't say so. Securing Iran... We get a war goal against them, which is good. And we'll use the allies for them. As well as Romania. So my goal within fighting the Axis is to get Iran, or Romania. We must not fall, of course. Take over defense of the Gulf. Yes, that would be good. But even down here, we need Bulgaria, Romania, Cyprus, Greece, which will put us at odds with everyone else in the allies, which is not good. Yeah. we got to plan this up more carefully. Actually, this one says, yeah, that doesn't do much for us. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, look, a little bit more manpower, but it goes away probably immediately. And there goes British Malaya. So be it. So be it. I'm going to do this one just because... Nice, we got the United States there, too. We just need more steel so we can have better output. Because we're already importing some steel. 40 steel. That's not that great. I really should lower free trade. I love the benefits too much. Nice. Build another thing there. Let's see. Dockyards. We got five. We're working on one more. Maybe? Not yet, though. Not yet. There we go. We got it. And we do not have enough. Oh, boy. This is not going to be good. Oh, we'll do fire control one. Reliability goes down. That's okay. No radar. Level one torpedoes. Level two engine. That's not bad. Oh, come on. Seriously? I guess we'll have to use destroyers for now, because that's what we can afford. I really don't want to make that type of destroyer yet. We'll just make some subs, because that destroyer is just its just not good enough yet. Just not good enough. 
And we don't have the manpower or political power to really do too much yet, so it's it pays to wait sometimes. Populism? Actually. Oh, it doesn't have an expiration date because it has expiration date here. And we do have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm as we watch the Germans and Soviets kill each other. It must have been, like, crazy and like, Turkey just to watch what the world was doing at the time of World War II because they're just, like, watching Germans and Soviets kill each other. They almost made an encirclement here, too. Nice. Nope. Can't send volunteers because we're not allowed to. Why? Hey, 250 manpower. You'll be gone soon enough. War support, meh. Political power, but that's 75. I just need more manpower, man. Keep making more roads. Keep making more civilian factories. That'll be good. If that's the case, obviously Navy isn't going to be the super most important thing we do. Let's get one of these done, and then we're going to make some more factories in Trapezon, because we have pretty good infrastructure there. Or Bursa. Probably Bursa. Boom, there we go. 15, 15, 1, even though we have 20 civilian factories trying to dig out mines. Holy cow, that's insane. Yeah, this? I didn't realize it was going to take that many to excavate that, but that's okay. The axes are doing fairly okay. I mean, I would love... Oh, the fall of Hong Kong, that's not good. I'd love to defend against these guys. We should be able to defend against these guys if we were to go to war. Is it really worth it right now? It's 41. Let's grab some more cap first. Hey, how, how's extraction going? You know what? Screw it. We'll go to war as soon as we get enough political power to raise our conscription level when we do go to war. So we need 150, and then we'll go to war. I promise. Get a little bit of action. Since America's in the war anyways, I don't think we'll do that poorly. And they'll give us stockpiles worth of stuff, so... Not a bad idea. So we'll take Bulgaria. We'll kick out Greece later on. Or technically... Well, we have to leave the Allies. But we'll take out Bulgaria and Romania... A good chunk of the Balkans. And eventually, we, we'll have to put some recon on our guys just because we get a bonus, and I don't want to lose that bonus. Ooh, we get oil. Ten civil... Oh my gosh, that's so many civilian factories. A little republicanism. I'm going to do that anyways, because it's worth... It's only 25 political power, and you get more stability out of that. That's, that's, that's pretty good. Like, you get more output, civilian factories... Less consumer goods factories. I mean, that's just worth it. 15, 15, 15. Oh, look at that. Hey, only... We must have finished a project. One Z click is gone. Oh, come on. This takes so long. Nice. 88% stability. That's so nice. How's the war between the Germans and the Soviets? Holy cow. That's a lot of guys dead. I'm in the allies, but I'm the only one not fighting them. Okay, cool. There goes the Communist channel. The Japanese are doing pretty darn well right now, though. German-Mongolian War? Oh, boy. Well, they are taking more losses, which is good, but that's like nothing to the Soviets. Can we really literally fight a two-front war? Well, with enough weaponry, we can. Before you go to war, I want to grab... Field hospitals. We need field hospitals. We need them. But hey, you know what? Let's expand credit on our debts. What luck that we have ended up allied with many of the countries to whom we owe a great deal of debt to. Surely our participation in this conflict is reason enough to see much of that debt wiped away. All in the name of our shared battle for liberty, of course. 120 political power and a research lot? That's not too bad in my opinion. That's pretty good. And we're about ready to go to war. Save up that a little bit more. United Mexican states join the allies. Oof. It's going to be a lot of people we're going to have to kill off later on. That's okay. Populism, we did that recently. God, it's not really worth it getting that, trying to get that much more manpower, but that's okay. Eventually, though, we're going to get a lot of cores. Eventually. So kill off the Axis, then kill off the Common Term, and figure out a way somehow to kill off the Allies. That's the main goals here. Here we go. We can do this. Throw on some field hospitals. I lo love recon right now, but we can't really afford that. We just need a buttload of support equipment now. Everything else is looking pretty good. And we also should focus a little bit more on planes. Even though we've got a good amount of fighters. It's not bad. Dockyards could use a little love as well. Oh, we need to get ah, synthetic refineries. 
Because we need more fuel. Because I'm still training for now. But... We definitely need some fuel. Because I don't mind using these, no matter how garbage they might be. Honestly, you're not really here for light attacks. We don't even have anti-sub stuff. Jesus Christ, what have I been doing? I'm going to use you for anti-air. I mean, what else can I use you for? Not really much else. Torpedoes are not bad, but... Oof. Come on, let's get some more political power. For the current time, I think we should be okay. Go ahead and stop training. Go home. Because we are going to have to deal with a lot of garbage here. Hey, but we got the Americans and the Brits defending. That should be good. This is... Not turning so well, not doing well for the Germans. Naval rearmaments. They got a million manpower, though, on all adult serve already. Holy cow. And they got a buttload with service by requirement. Nice. Nice. Yes, yes. I know you want me to go to war. I know, I know. A little bit of lag there. No, China's not looking good at all. Woof. Woof. Non aggression packs. Uh, Santa Tache. No, no, no. God, why can't we send volunteers? Volunteers would be so nice to be able to send. How are you losing? Oh, the Navy. Oh, you're still training down here. Oh, yeah. Stop doing that. Go home. We're going to need you all nice and ready. Japan demands French into China. Wow, that is not good. They have some compliance, but. How's the Japanese doing? They're running out of manpower. The Chinese aren't looking too... Oh. How do the Chinese have less manpower than you guys? Some things I'll never understand. Some things I just won't. More industry, though. Industry is key. Key, 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 key. And... Actually, it might be beneficial to build a couple land ports around here first. Just because, eventually, we do get our focus saying that we do get free forts on that area. So if we build up forts now, that means if we want to build up forts later, it'll be even more expensive after we do the focus. So I think that'd be okay. It's almost 42. Just grab more research speed for now. Hey, we're getting more fuel. That's nice. Actually, we can always request that uh, from our allies fuel. So I'm not really too worried about that. Wow. Screw, we don't have enough manpower. I'm, I'm joining. I'm tired of waiting. I really am. Here we go. I just want them to attack me. Don't attack. Oh, peace in the world. Kamala's neutrality. Well, we're going to get rid of that later on. Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to do that. There you go. Hey, but at least we're at war. And is this a defensive war? Yes, it is. Nice. We lost ability, though, which is not good. Whatever. Still get 1.14 every day. I just want them to attack me. Please don't attack them. I want to get attacked. You can lower your trenchment. I don't care. Oh, there we go. That's what I want to see. More support equipment. Nice. If that's the case, I doubt they have a lot of ships around here. But you can use your subs and actually split them in half. Because it might be easier for, to, for you to find things in here. I, ooh. Our enemies have laid 283 mines. Wow. Engage at low risk if you get hit by mines. So be it. Whatever. Come on, guys. Come on. I guess technically we could go to war economy, but getting more manpower right now is much more important. New month. Happy 1942. 1942. What? You cancel Lund lease? I'm just... Ooh. Oh, yeah. God dang it. Yeah, it's time to get rid of free trade. Oh, we need manpower. We do get some more manpower, this, or political power that way, so I might just go with limited exports as well. I'm at this point. We need manpower first, of course, but we just need resources. Such garbage. Guys, please. Please attack me. Hey! We did entice someone to attack us. Hey, Patton's leading the defense. Cool. Good luck, guys. Because we do have honor divisions here. Good hospitals. And hopefully this gives us a lot more army XP. Please, please, please. Oh, we're getting naval invaded in southern Norway. Why are we getting told of that? Okay, whatever. Extensive conscription next. Good. Republicanism will be good because we need more stability. Emergency factor. Hey, 
There we go. Expand credit on our debts. We got a research slot. Partnership packed with Bulgaria. It would be wise not to judge the Bulgarian people too harshly, lest they be pushed in the arms of our enemy. Let us offer them an alternative, an opportunity to stand on the side of liberty and justice rather than autocracy and corruption. Well, I'm not sure why we can do that. Like, it should be bypassed immediately if we're already at war. And I want to do that one too. Yeah, we doing that doesn't make any sense. Securing Iran. I think we'd better get Iraq first, but that's just me, man. That's just me. I could be totally wrong. Let's grab some better guns, though. This coffee's pretty good. You guys are actually doing kind of well over here. Wow. Still not going to get involved yet. I mean, 150, that's fine. Ooh. Infantry expert would be actually pretty good to do for us. That'd be awesome. Oh, five-year plan. Oh, it's finally gone. Wow. Consumer goods. Traded goods, huh? Let's see. I like building up the roads. Hey, yeah, keep attacking. Keep attacking. Hopefully we can do pretty well. Pretty. Oh, the Americans are not doing well, though. Ah, oh, Faretin Altai. Altai. Keep it up. Keep it up. Mm hmm. We got four. I do want some dockyards, but can we even use these? We don't have enough resources yet. Navy-wise, we really should be focusing so much on the Navy. I think it would be good to do some, th some synthetic refineries first. Some of the production is nice to grab this so we can start building those. That'll be good. They are still trying to attack, so... Hopefully, hey, the Americans left. Of course they did. Why would they stay? Do you have any upgrades actually for right now? No. It's a Desert Fox. I like that. I like that a lot. U23 are right there. Do you have an upgrade? Yes, but not really. There you go. Go ahead and do that. That'd be nice. Uh, you guys don't train. <laughs> That'd probably be a bad idea. We're not finding anything in the river, the pond, the Black Sea. Never mind, they all died. What the heck? Where did my subs go? Um. Well then. So much for trying to have subs, I didn't realize they died. Hey, look, manpower! Finally, we've got manpower! And we can finally go down to limit exports. It's unfortunate. We lost a few factories, but... And we lost some construction speed, but look at that. Oh my goodness, that's so nice. Actually, I will buy some aluminum, though. Uh, I guess for now we can buy from Yugoslavia. We'll help them out. America's got enough. And we'll even buy one from these guys, too. The Raj. Thank you. Now we can actually produce things a little more effectively. Keep building some more roads up. We'll focus on that a little bit. All right, so we got some good plans making. Got some good fighter making. Not bad. 200, 200, 200. Get some right there. Get some right there. There you go. And a hundred casts. Nice. Now, come all the way over here. We could try to push out. Oh, actually. Oh, there you go. And actually, we have enough for a new army. Great. I don't trust the Soviets, so go over there. Nice. You guys could probably go train. Probably have no issues whatsoever. Keep building us up. That'd be nice. I don't really think we'd be able to push out, though. What if I sent you guys to come here? And I had all of you guys come right there. Actually, I could throw you actually back. Just do that instead. And then you five actually do it like this. It's a little easier to do it like this. Just to bait them into attacking us. There you go. Just so we get a little more army XP, a little more good stuff like that. Do we find anything around here? I really doubt it. They do have port, but I doubt they'd be using that right now. Hmm. You need to attack the Philippines, Sunda Islands. Oh, the Soviets aren't doing too badly either. Republicanism, because I want more stability. Stability is very, very important. And we can do some more of this stuff, too. Ooh, clothing factories. Not bad, not bad.
And there goes Drano. Wow. Start making some more light tanks. That'd be good. Dockyards. We could probably make some dockyards too. So we'll keep one on infrastructure, one on civilian factories, one on dockyards. Do it in Istanbul. One, two, three. Not bad. What if I had you guys go right there? Bait them into attacking the line. I know there's forts around here, but that's fine. And you guys doing that? Oh my goodness, America. UK. Y'all are a bunch of crazies. I don't think these... Oh, I love my divisions. Ah, uh, actually those Italian divisions are really, really weak. Those Bulgarian divisions are actually stronger than anything else that they have there. Screw it. We'll attack then. We'll do the best we can attacking. We could try and attack at least. Oh, uh oh, what happened here? Lost an allied convoy. There's some submarinos. And we do have some planes, American planes, helping us out, so. Alright, we'll try it. And next up, the Ponte Rito. Let's go and do the Petra Proposal. I don't know what this is going to do, so our advisors come up with a plan that would see us becoming responsible for protecting the administering British protectors in the Levant. The strategy and proposal are, are, are sound, and now that all is left is to pitch the idea to the British. And then we can get a total of three more dockyards, which would be great. Can we actually win here? Do we have our planes in the air? No, we don't. Mr. Mokolova, are you even really trying? Well, a little bit. Finding some enemy fighters, that's good. Crush them. Go, boys, go. Uh, you have anything really there? You're a guerrilla fighter, which is fine, but... Hey, get some Burgess. Nice. Very nice. Oh, the Soviets are doing pretty darn well over there. Hey, look at that. We actually sunk something. An Italian sub. Oh, there goes some Greek convoys. Well, that's not... We don't really care. Come on, find them submarinos. Did you learn anything, Mimet? You are learning. Nice. He's learning. Getting more manpower. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Let's see. Up next. They just stay up here at the highest point. That'd be okay. We got 12 army XP. I'm glad we're actually in the war. We're actually doing something finally. Ooh, actually, the divisions we're using, are they so... Oh, they're motorized. That's okay. Motorized is kind of garbage, but whatever. Let's make sure that you are well equipped with motorized artillery, which I actually use... Relatively often, so that'd be fine. Can we do that again? Throw on nothing else because we're out of army XP, so be it. Whatever. Motorize. Increase the amount of motorize we're making by, like, two. And begin making some more military factories. Diyar Bakir. Where Batman is. Alright, you guys. we got to focus on an attack right here, maybe. Get these two divisions out first, and then we'll do it. Come on, get him out, get him out, get him out. Oh, come on, leap. There you go. Send half you guys with them, and send half you guys with them as well. Attack. Support the attack. Can you do well? Yes, you can. Wow. We're actually doing kind of okay. Then again, I mean, the Germans are attacking the Soviets, so. And the Allies are de destroying Norway. Oh, that's disgusting. Disgusting. Yeah, get that army XP up. There we go. That's what I like to see. Nice, nice, nice. Get those dockyards going, because we lost all of our subs. Watch out. Ison is joining the Axis. You guys still training? You guys still training? Oh, that's fine with me. Just train only if you need to, I guess. I guess technically you were, so that's fine. Oh! They actually broke through Greece. Oh, boy. Well, that's not ideal. Can we get a Varna? Only if we're fast enough. Come on, come on. Hey, we got in there. It does stretch out our line a little bit more, which is not ideal, but whatever. Anything else around here? We could develop more stuff. Warp propaganda, populism. Could get more manpower that way, but eh, we can wait. We can do this stuff. There you go. Nice. Whee! Could you two actually make it over here quick enough? Oh, they're smashing that. 
straight through Greece right now. That is not ideal. Hey, look at that. A convoy, though. Hey, look at that. We have a sub as well. Well, this time, don't die, please, if you can. Can I actually make it there in time? No, we were so close. So close. But if you emphasize the attack, you might be able to. Hey, look! I sunk some stuff. Turkish Navy ain't too bad. Help them out, help them out. Beautiful. Come on, guys, get in there, get in there. Light tank's not looking too bad. The fall of Manila, that's not ideal. Tank wise, not bad, actually. Obviously, we shouldn't be using light tanks, we should be really using medium tanks, but we only have so much industry. Good. If you can skedaddle that way, that'd be awesome. Go, 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 go. Oh, wait. Why is there a convoy over here? Delivered. Ah, British Malaya. There you go. Get from the Raj, that'd be better. There we go. Oh, Yugoslavia, we got to trade with them like that? No. We still got the Soviet boys, so. There we go, that's better. Nope. Keep it up, keep it up. Italy. What? It's 42. The, the, what? They just joined the Axis. What? Oh boy. Oh boy. That's not good. The Philippines are gone. That's not good too. We're really stretching out of the lines. I'm surprised they're not attacking us yet, but Greece is going to fall eventually. Oof. Keep doing a great job, guys. You're doing awesome, awesome, awesome. Get back in there. Oh, if we could all get over here, that would be so good if we could link up. Boys, you cannot fail. Hold the line, hold the line. I know you're getting pounded by literally eight, seven, seven to eight divisions, so. Nice, good. Hold on to your butts. Man, if we could capitulate Belgium in this episode, that would actually be great. Oh, now they're attacking us. Oh boy, oh boy. Do not lose, do not lose. I know the lines stretch out very thinly, but <laughs> that's not an excuse to lose. Come on, man, don't lose. Oh, you're even losing when you have this much extra air power. No! I just wanted to make an encirclement. It's alright, just cons consolidate our forces here, that's fine. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. We lost a lot of guys in that fight, but that's okay. So we've lost about 23,000 losses, not too bad. Obviously we haven't been in the fight for that long. <coughs> Excuse me, the Soviets have lost not nearly enough. The Japanese Micronesia, oh boy. They have their own unique flag, that's kind of cool. This is all good for learning, we get advanced competing machines. Let's grab some radar next. Even though I would love to do um, other things, like naval stuff, we gotta focus on other, some of those other items that must be addressed first. Motorized. Oh my goodness. Military factories time. It is. It is time. Boom. Boom. Two military factories going at the same time. We're going to grab a lot of motorized. Infantry equipment. Uh, we'll do that first. And then do that to help them out. Put that below. Get more light tanks. Get more fighters. Get more close air support. Dockyards. Not looking too bad though. There you go. Keep making more infrastructure. That's okay with me. Oh, and we are definitely in the fray, my friends. Definitely in the fray. I'm okay with this. We got plenty of fuel, too. We need more motorized. We have plenty of support equipment, which means you guys can probably put some stuff on here now, finally. Throw that on immediately. Because now we're out of army XP. God dang it. There goes British Malaya. I thought they already capitulated. Whatever. Motorized divisions. You are looking not super bueno. But that's okay. Because you're going to throw on another motorized infantry that we don't have. But you'll be used eventually. Don't worry about it. Yeah, the Germans and the Soviets are definitely pushing each other pretty harshly. But that's okay with me. 
Yes, yes, sync stuff, sync stuff. Learn, learn, learn. We literally have the guy commanding a literal single summary, but he, look at that. 67% skill level, nice. British doctors in Turkey, securing Iran. I like this one. Our coasts are long and stretch around almost half of our country. Almost all of our country, actually. There's plenty of free real estate here, haha, <laughs> for a ship manufacturing industry, and the British recognize this. We shall take up their offer of bolstering our naval industry in order to tilt the war effort more in our collective favor. Cool. And they reject the Petra proposal. Prime Minister Winston Churchill of the UK has said that surrender of the British territories in the Levant to Turkey would be an, an unthinkable action and caused or cautioned that wisdom necessitated continued British governance in the region. British forces in the Levant have even put on alert to ensure that any unexpected per Turkish incursion into the region can be quickly thwarted. Privately, many of our government officials will express their disappointment with the British decision, citing the rejection of our proposal as proof that the British do not trust us as allies. Ismet Inonu has also voiced his disapproval with the British decision and has asked advisors to present options on how to respond. There's nothing else we do. We shall escalate the matter. Ooh, we get claims. I like that. I really like that. Mm. I'm not sure what that's what that can do. I don't really. Ooh, we lose lose the allies here. Yeah, we lose allies here anyways. I like the claims. We shall escalate it. Let's escalate it. I want the claims. We can always get more stability later on. Or right now. So I like having those permanent claims though. I like that quite a bit. But look at this guy. 67, now he's 72% scalable. And all he has is one sub to work with, so. Level 3 attack. He's becoming a superior tactician. A sea wolf, which is awesome. Inshore fighter. Iron sides even just a little bit. It's not bad. Love it, love it, love it, love it. He's almost level 3, too. Nice. Love it. Actually, how's the other fleet doing? Man, those motorized are not looking good. I'm going to go and tell you guys to heal up. Go home. Heal. Sink those convoys, son. Sink them. Sink them and stink them. Or we stink them, then sink them. Yeah. This is... I won't say barbaric, but it's it's going crazy. And my goodness, Norway, you look terrible. It's mostly under ally control, actually. That's kind of cool. Hey, you got a second sub? Cool. I'm not sure this is going to really help out that much. But if you have two subs in one task force, or one sub in two task force, now there's a difference. And this just fine. Oh, they're justifying against Vichy France. I'm actually okay with that. Because then we can get all of this. Iceland is gone because they were in access. If I can get Syria? Nice. Centralized fire control for even more soft attack. Let's grab some forward observers for more recon for a recon. Ooh, what else can we do here? Nothing. Government's in exile. Yeah, I don't care about that stuff. Anything else? War propaganda, don't care about. Probably... Actually, war economy. We gotta save up. Gotta save our winnings for something bigger. Oh, we're out of we're out of trucks. So thank you for helping us out. We appreciate your war effort. We got enough army XP now. Actually, do we have enough artillery? Yeah, we do. We should throw some artillery on here. But field hospitals first. Doesn't matter who they are. They all need field hospitals. And actually, I want to make our tanks even better too. Hungary claims lordship over Slovakia. Good luck with that. I'm surprised the Allies actually haven't died here yet. It's good for us, but... <laughs> the Germans said no. Yeah, let's see. That's a lot of dead guys. They... The Soviets have inflicted 2 million. But, the Germans have inflicted 2.4 million. Or actually 1.6. Romania's doing pretty darn well. Can I pull a sneaky right now? It's going to really weaken our line if we get attacked. We might be able to pull a sneaky if we can force the attack, maybe. The Hungarians are looking very, very weak. Oh, they're completely out of manpower. That explains it. Romanians are almost out of manpower. The Germans have sold enough for now. The Soviets don't even ask. You guys haven't been attacked yet, either. Oh, the Italians are out of manpower, too. Look at that. Hey, we actually won. We actually won. Come on. Oh. Defend for now. If we can keep that tile, that'd be great. Oh, the Germans are not feeling too well right now. They're not feeling too well. The quit India movement. Yeah, another doomed attempt at freedom. Cool. Can you actually win here? That'd be great. They're trying to attack our lines. I mean, this is kind of risky. Not going to lie, but that's okay with me. We're doing a great job. Yeah, I think we're going to keep it like this. Two and... 
one and one. Hey, he's level three. Awesome. Come on, come on. You can't break through, god dang it. We're not strong enough yet, that's fine. Just defend for now. 1.12, not bad. Synthetic oil, yes, 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 yes. We got enough fuel for now, it's 42. We did all of this stuff, we gotta grab some of this. More defense and breakthrough. I love defense and breakthrough. Do you have any upgrades yet? You're level 4. Actually, how long is it gonna take for the UK to... to free France has their capital down here in Gabes. Why? Mediterranean Bastion, they have... They're still justifying. How's the Americans doing? How are they doing? They have less than 100 days, about 85. That's not bad either. You guys come over here. Nice. They're still attacking. He's got to be learning more stuff. He's a recon expert. Borneo, Philippines, Japanese. How is the Pacific War going? Oh my gosh. That is disgusting. That is disgusting. This is quite disgusting. The Dutch East Indies are not doing very well. Japan is doing a great job. America, please. Kill off the Japanese army. Wow, they are attacking until their tanks are all dead. I love it. You guys should do okay as well down there. Uh, that's fine. Sponsor Petrol Oif of Eif Offices Formation. Oh, get more stability. I am kind of inclined to do that, but we got to get a war economy first. Nice. He's learning. I love it. I love it when our guys learn. Learning is so important. Especially in real life. It was good to learn. Now, you're not getting nearly as much done over here. What if we spread out a little bit more, though? If we come down here, too, maybe? Do both? You guys aren't getting too much done around here. We might get some stuff down here, as though. We might... Because, obviously, our fleet is not as big as the Italian fleet, I bet. Like, I, we can pretty much guarantee you that. But still. And they're out of manpower, which is nice. Actually, how big is the Italian fleet? Secret weapons. they almost out of manpower, too. Plenty of divisions. Yeah, they have a battleship. Actually, they still technically have a bigger navy than us, but it's not that good. They might have one battleship and a few heavy cruisers, but... That ain't bad. If we had to fight that, I don't think we would say we would be doing too poorly. Alright, so for you guys, come over there. I'd be fine. We've got even some more army XP. What can we throw on here? Recon. Yes, please. We don't have... Actually, keep... Oh, there goes the Greeks, finally. Armored cars. Do we have enough light tanks? No, we do not. Motorized. Obviously, we don't have enough, so just do that one. It'll be fine. Nice. Same thing for these guys. Actually, we could throw on the armored cars here. It actually gives them a little bit of armor, which... You know what? They're special. We'll give these guys the special divisions. Some support equipment. We need to do that as well. I mean, I'm glad we went to war. I'm really glad, because finally... Because when you play in the Balkans and Turkey, sometimes you just don't go to war, and it's not nearly as much fun. But I love doing this. So, let's go and secure Iran. If the Iranians do, will not regulate the trade of their oil so that it does not reach the reserves of our enemies, then we shall forcibly administer their resources for them. Yes, and the Brits will help us out. We'll call in everyone to help attack the Iranians, even though they are struggling with the Japanese right now. Hmm. Actually, go to Iran, then we have a border potentially with the Japanese Empire, which would not be very good, but you know what? Whatever. If we do, like, that, then they might actually attack our lines because they're, they're not that strong. <laughs> really not that strong. Okay, cool. Oh, oh, the Soviets are out of fuel. What the heck? That's the last time we saw that. Kingdom of Greece? Not sure how we all have stuff over there, but okay, cool. Take that. Aluminum. Greece is looking okay. Norway. I don't want to trade with people. Especially with Vichy France. Or these guys. Netherlands. UK. These guys are just too far away. Oh, what? Can, can they not give me stuff? What's going on? Oh, the Raj. Well. I guess seven's okay for now. On the Raj. Oh, man. They must have lost all the resources. Oh, that's not good. If I do that, do that with the Swedes. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, we need more convoys. Jesus Christ. We need more convoys, too. Do we have any new ships, maybe? Yeah, we do. Another sub. Great. Hey, there's radar detection. Beautiful. If we're using light tanks for now, I'm just going to continue with that. The Allies are actually holding very, very well in Romania. I'm surprised at how well we're doing over here. 
Which does slowly just like make the borders around here tighter. Oh look at that. Beautiful. Finally, finally, finally we can get a little bit more of a boost to producing military factories. And we get more fuel from that too. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, almost four full factories. Oh yes, 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 yes. And they're attacking us more. The fate of Yugoslavia, this is ominous. They just got annexed? Holy crap, what? I mean, I understand, like, you don't want to get killed, but you have the allies helping you, the Italians are not doing that well anymore. I mean, this is a bloodbath. We've lost about 42,000, which is not bad, not bad. The Axis-wise, we've killed off 25,000 Hungarians. We've killed off any, not really too many Italians. We've killed off 16, 1,600 Romanians. 25,000 Bulgarians. 300, almost a third of a million of Germans. Wow, that's actually not too bad. I kind of like that. I mean, there's really not much we can do right now since they are just, like, constantly, like, trying to attack us. But, oh man, they're actually trying to do really well right there. Do you have any upgrades? No. He's a, he is a logistics wizard, which is awesome. I love that so much. Alright, tank-wise. Do you have 18? Throw on one more tank. Cool, and we're gonna throw on engineers because those are always so good to throw on. And artillery. Make our guys even stronger. Well, we might lose that tile. Actually, we probably will lose that tile. That's okay. We have some capital ships. We need 1940s capital ships. Before we do that, basic death charges. Good lord. You know what? That's okay. Just hold here. Just hold. Hold, hold, hold. Retreating is okay. Oh, come on. Why'd you cancel on this, man? Just retreat for now. It's okay. It's okay. We'll come back. Oh, I've got plenty of artillery. Oh, we need more army XP for what I want to do. I want to make 40 combat with divisions. We're not going to have a massive army yet. We're going to have a pretty good one, though. Get more stability. That's okay. You guys are doing all right. No, 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 no. You don't want to go over there. Go right there, and then... Nope, that's okay. Hold. Ship-wise, hey! The more the merrier. Beautiful. And Americans lost it over there, but whatever. Alright, so we have Vichy France. Uh, they should still be justifying, right? There goes the Dutch East Indies. Is America even doing anything? Are you still justifying on these guys? Yeah, they are, but it's going so slowly. Getting attacked in the Philippines. Two weeks left before we go to war with Vichy France, which is fine with me. We'll crush these guys hopefully pretty darn easily, honestly. All right, And they still keep attacking our line. And they're actually doing fairly okay against us. But our guy is learning quite a bit. He's 69 to 70% done learning how to be an organizer and an infantry leader. Uh oh Oh, boy. Oh, boy. we got to keep an eye on this. What is going on here? Oh, man. They have really starting to hit us hard here. Oh, boy. Right, you stay. Don't lose your entrenchment. Yeah, no, you've got to do that. Failure's not an option. They might want to attack us really harshly, but I, we're, I, I, don't, I don't care. Fighters, 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 fighters. More military factories. One, two, three, four. Eh, that's not bad. Good. They stopped attacking. The Soviets are look like they're on the offensive. They must have done a naval invasion around them. Oh, boy. Beautiful. Come on, please learn more. I want to upgrade you as well. I love upgrading my generals and admirals. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Hey, the allies are back down here too. Not bad. And these guys are doing pretty darn well. 20 combat with... Uh, hey, they joined the Axis. Cool. Hey, we, and we've begun the offensive down here. Hopefully we can do pretty well. Support equipment 4. It's 42. We want to get some of this. That'd be very good to grab. Get some more heart attack and piercing. That is very, very important for us as well. I think we'll win down here regardless of what happens. Just because there's not that many divisions down here. And we can attack them from two sides. And if they want to send supplies through here. Well, they have to go through four subs. <laughs> A whole four subs. Oh, yeah. Come on, sink them. Sink those German convoys. I mean, there's only two subs. And they're not, they're not that great. Let's, let's be real here, but... Still, and I'm keeping an eye up here because we got a lot of green, but it always could turn to red. Oh boy. Thank you. Mm. 
So we could try that maybe. Nice. Build some more military factories. Get two at a time. Ooh, we should really be building in places that we need more stuff here. Two at a time is always good with me. Oh, do we have something else here? A fifth sub. Love it. We have one over there. That's fine. Do that. Keep it on five for now. There you go. We keep it on four and then do that. There you go. Hey, we actually sunk a convoy. Nice. Not bad, I'd have to say. That's looking pretty good. We're sinking more convoys. I'm glad we went to war. I'm really glad we did. I really enjoy it. Securing Iran. We can go to war when we want to. Taking over the defense of the Gulf. We must not fall. Better surrender limit and division defense on core territory, which would be a lot of fun. We do not fight tooth and nail as a nation during our war of independence, only to be annihilated a few decades later. No, Turkey's story does not end here. We must not fall. We will not fall. But I just realized how far we are in this episode. We're already past 50 minutes. And we will end it as soon as we conquer the rest of Syria. And that'll be fun. Hey, we're actually doing better in Greece now. Getting Athens. Getting close to Athens, at least. Oh, yeah. They love attacking, attacking, attacking. Have you learned anything yet? Hey, he's a hills fighter. Not bad. Has our field marshal learned anything? Not really. He's still kind of there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no, 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 God dang it. Go home, go home, go home. Oh, they're sticking, the they're sticking the task force. No, we lost the pride of the fleet. Oh, we did sink a heavy cruiser. And that, honestly, that battle cruiser was not that great, but, oh, that's so sad. Breaks my heart. Oh, a terrible ending to this episode. We've been doing really well, so. I'm glad I put some forts around here, too. Because even though this is not a core territory, that's still okay. Not a core territory yet. Because I believe we can court eventually, which is... Awesome! Oh, yeah, we don't want to do that one, too. Yeah, that'll be good. Ah, yes. Sink them and stink them. Oh, these guys are cut off. What? No. I deserve this. Or we'll get them in the... You know what? That's okay. That means... That, that means... That means we do not have to garrison that area, which is good for our manpower. Come on, kill off those divisions. We got 53 army XP. In the next episode, we'll probably see Germany collapse, because I don't think they can sustain this. Their allies are already out of manpower, so. And then it'll be time to go to war with the Soviet Union, which would be great. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, when we will push further into the Axis. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.